Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So this is going to be my get ready with me video. And as you can see, I'm dancing a little bit, cutting the monkey. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first item that I'm going to be using is the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. And I'm going to use that to prime my eyes today. As you can see, I really like this pencil. It's very affordable. You can get it pretty much anywhere. Target, CVS, um, Walgreens, anywhere that carries NYX products. So, I really, really like that. Especially to when I'm using bright colors to brighten up my eyeshadow. It's really affordable and I really like it. So, I'm just smoothing that all over both of my eyelids. And you guys, excuse my funny faces. I'm so sorry. When I'm getting ready, I will cut the fool and just I'm in the room by myself so hey it is what it is next thing I'm gonna take is my I'm taking brown script and Mac and I'm just gonna use that as my transition color it's gonna go all over the top part and the crease of my lid lid excuse me like so and I'm gonna use um wind sweeper motions across my eyes couldn't even hardly get it out I'm going to do that on the other side of my eye. Like so. And as you can see, as my highlight color, this is the Too Faced Chocolate um, Semi-Sweet Palette. And the color that I am using right there, my camera is acting a fool today, but it's going to focus right there. It's called No Good. And you guys, if you notice that little light that keeps coming on, that's my Simple Human Ring Light. Every time you get close to it, the light will just come on for you to start putting on your makeup, which I think is very cool. So, um, if you see like a certain brightener on my face, that's because the light come on because I got close to it. And I'm just packing that little color in the, at the very center of my lid, as you can see, like so. And then I will be taking that gold color from the semi-sweet palette and I'm going to put it on the outsides of my lids and I think I'm going to put it on the insides as well so it's going to make like a 3D effect I like the 3D effect as you can see and I like to go and dip back and forth into the palette it actually helps me pick up the color well and it distributes all across my eyes just the way I want it so but everybody has a different technique of applying eyeshadow there's no right or wrong way to apply eyeshadow unless you are a top-notch professional and you're qualified to put it on a certain way for a certain look but for here there's no right or wrong look next I'm going to be taking this um dark color I can't remember what color that was it was the dark color the darkest color out of the Too Faced palette and I'm just going to swipe that over the transition color to give my eyes some depth like so Really, really pretty. I like that. I like that look and I like the way it's coming out. And just take it and I'm, I also have a, that is a tapered blending brush that I use to try to blend all the corners and everything you got. And you guys, I have gotten some questions about the brushes that I use. I use all different types of brushes, but the main brushes that I go, I go back and forth to are the Sigma brushes. And you can find them online at www.sigmabeauty.com. They have brushes that come in sets and they're, they're very affordable for how many brushes you get. Next, I'm going to be using the, um, this is the toasted color. And I'm going to use it as my highlight color, as you can see. Very, very pretty, and it stands out. It, it brightens your under eye. I mean, your underbrow, I'm sorry. I really, really like it. <clears throat> I'm going to blend that out with my fluffy blending brush, also from Sigma. Next, I'm going to be taking Butter Pecan, and I'll put that in my transit right near my transition color and try to smooth all of that out. And 
now I'm going to line my eyes. And you guys, I'm using Max Chromaline um, Black Gel Liner. I love it. It's very creamy. It goes on really smooth. I'm just a big fan of the um, the Fluid Lines by MAC. So they have some new ones that I got the other day that I'm going to be showing in my upcoming video. Very, very pretty. And I'm just going back into this, um, this blue color to brighten back up the middle part because I lost some of the color while I was putting in the other ones and trying to blend and everything so I want to make sure I keep that color popping because that was the star of the eye in my opinion <coughs> and I'm just lining my bottom line I like to I like to line my waterline sometimes I'll line my waterline and won't even put any other liner below the lash line because I just like that small look Okay, now I'm just going to move along with my foundation. And you guys, this is a get ready with me video. That's why I'm not showing you every single product I use. Now, if it was a tutorial, I would be, you know, holding the products up and showing you exactly what I'm using. But this is kind of a get ready, get ready with me video, which I'm just showing you how I get ready for a certain look or the day or an or a night out or something it's just literally a get ready with me video so that's why you're not seeing many products but I am trying to keep you updated and tell you what I'm using so <coughs> the foundation that I'm using is the makeup forever HD foundation and I'm in the color 177 so I'm cutting full and I with that white dress on I should have never put it on yet until I got done with my makeup but I was trying to hurry up because I was already running late, so you know how that is. I'm trying to keep the white dress from getting dirty. And you guys know I love, love, love the Beauty Blender. So right here I'm using the Black Beauty Blender to apply my foundation. It applies foundation like no other. I'm sorry you can't get me to use anything else these days. But because I love it, love it, love it. <clears throat> I'm just cleaning up my under eye with some concealer, and I'm, I know I'm using the MAC NC50. And don't pay attention to that on that side of my cheek. I'm going to get it and blend that out. And this is a very simple, simple look. I mean, it's very easy to follow. Very simple look. Just that pop of color on my lid is exactly what I was going for. And just that blended look all the way around. So, I'm just going in and cleaning up the spots. I like to go in after my foundation and put a little bit of concealer in different places where I think that my blemishes and stuff are still kind of coming out in. I like to go back and use that um, MAC Studio Fix Concealer because that goes really well with my Makeup Forever HD foundation. As you can see, I just slapped off my bonnet and I'm about to get ready to fix my hair. So and I applied my lashes off camera because it is hard to apply lashes on camera. I'm not an expert at that, but once I get very talented with that, I will be doing it. But now I have to apply them off camera. And I'm using the Ellery, Ellery ColourPop liner. I love this liner, especially for somebody with full lips. I love the dark lip and... Um, the light inner lip it just it slims your lips down it's kind of like contouring your lips but i love that ellery liner it's very cream and smooth it goes on and it blends very very well so i'm using that and if you guys if you don't know anything about ColourPop, check them out i have a link in the bottom bar below their products are very affordable i think most of the products on that website are only five dollars and as you can see they have the lip liners that are very pigmented they're they're very beautiful they're smooth they're creamy and they go on very good next thing i'm using is the gerard cosmetics lipstick and this is in fire engine
Yeah, okay, guys, I'm just completing the look. This is the final look. I'm just going to add some Christian Dior lip gloss to my lip. And that's pretty much it. So stay tuned, and I will show you guys the final look and an up-close view. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.